Hi, and welcome to Yee Fit Fuel. Yee My name's real. Darren Yee, and today we're going to make oatmeal. This is a heart healthy option that is easy to prepare and quick to serve. So put on your aprons and let's get ready to cook. <laughs> Two cups of steel cut oats right here in this cup. So it's a one to two ratio. Two cups of oats, four cups of water. We just turn the stove up and we're gonna bring it to a boil or you can just pour it right in. Just like this. So you're gonna bring this to a boil. You can add a pinch of salt. While this is boiling, you can also add a little bit of roast cinnamon. It'll take a couple minutes before it boils. As you can see, the oatmeal is starting to boil. Do a quick stir. Make sure the cinnamon dissolves. Once we get it up to a rolling boil, Then we can cover it and let it sit. We're gonna put the lid back on and then turn it off. We'll let it sit for about 10 minutes or so and yeah. it'll fully cook the steel cut oats. All right, once the oatmeal is cooked for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna uncover it. See how it's fluffy on top, the steam just comes right off. Next, what we're gonna do is we've got an ice cream scoop and we're gonna put them into these silicone muffin molds. And then we're gonna stick them into the freezer and leave them overnight. I like to scoop them right after they're cooked. See, they're nice and soft. You press them down gently so that they conform to the mold. We got the oatmeal ready to go. Open the freezer, I'm going to stick the tray in, and then let them freeze into cubes overnight. Once the oatmeal has solidified into cubes, I like to store them in a Yalen freezer lock bag. So I just pop these cubes out. Stick them into the freezer bag. That way in the morning, I can just open up the freezer, grab one of these cubes, and stick them into, uh, I usually bring a glass Pyrex dish with a lid. That way when I get to work, I can just add a little bit of water, pop it in the microwave, and I'll show you how I prepare my oatmeal in the morning. So you got your Ziploc bag full of oatmeal cubes. I put one of my cubes in here, down here. Then I like to add some blackberry apple cl clusters. I add maybe three to four apple clusters just to give it some apple flavor. And then with that, I might add a little bit of water. and I'll microwave this for about a minute. Once it's microwaved for about a minute, it's oatmeal is nice and soft. You got the apple bits inside. I like to use a little bit of organic, gluten-free blueberry lemon granola. All you need is about a little handful or a couple tablespoons in there. 
This has eight grams of sugar. So you throw that in, mix it up. And then I like to add um, some fruit and nut mix. This is great. I like the peanuts, raisins, cranberries, almonds, papaya, pumpkin seeds, pineapple, walnuts, and pistachios. So this is a, a great way to spice up your oatmeal. You can throw about anything, anything in it. Um, I like my oatmeal pretty solid. Um, not too runny, but this uh, gives it some great flavor. You can see the papaya and the chunks of pineapple in there, the cranberries, the almonds and walnuts. I really enjoy. So this is what I usually bring to work during the week. Um, it's easy and simple to prepare. Um, it's very nutritious and it'll give you a lot of energy throughout the day. Um, and it keeps you healthy. Heart healthy. I'd like to thank you for uh, watching Ye Fit Fuel. And if you enjoy um, videos like this, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.